Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Alan Partridge, a WE Learning Evangelist. Here we have the assembly stage of the avatar animation. So uh, in this case, we're looking at the Captivate 5.5 interface. And you can see here the project has already been assembled. We'll take a look at that project and just do a quick project preview so that you can see what that project looks like in its finished state. Of course, we recorded the avatar animations in Second Life. And then once those avatar animations were recorded, we were bringing them in to Captivate, where we create this content. Welcome, music fans, to this exciting tour of the music of ancient Egypt. So you'll notice right away that the avatar begins by speaking, and he speaks the words aloud, and the avatar is animated while he's speaking. I'll go to the next slide. We'll break this one down. You'll notice that he started with some looped animation there at the very beginning. Now we're asked a question, which is the name of the instrument below. This is an al oud actually, but let's get it wrong first. We'll choose the djembe. No, that is the wrong answer. You see, we're getting the feedback from the avatar to tell us, no, this is the wrong answer. And it's echoed in the text feedback over here. Let's choose the right answer, al oud And we get the correct feedback from the avatar at the same time. All right, we could go back and choose djembe again and get the same exact effect. And that's what we'll be looking at as we look at assembly here. How is it that we can go back and forth between different animations here and actually show the user different things? You can see on the next tab, which is in the sample that you can download, that you can actually load up any number of these avatar animation captures that you made when you were doing your recordings, as we learned before and you can play those back dynamically using any of the interactions. Okay, so I'm going to close that preview now and then we'll go into the Captivate interface where we'll actually look at that slide with the question to see how it's set up. All right, on the bottom I'll open the timeline and we'll see that there are several elements on the timeline, but let's pay attention first to the animations. The animations on the timeline, if I make each animation not visible, you can see that as I turn off the standing yes animation, then I move to another animation. If I turn off the standing no animation, I move to another animation. So what we really have are three animations. The idle, which is just standing around. The no, which is shaking his head no. And the yes, each one stacked one on top of the other. All we really have to do in this slide then is know when we want to have which one of these animations visible and we have to go back and replay in the event that something is submitted. So there are a couple of things to take care of just as sort of housekeeping things. When we first enter the slide, first coming into the slide, we'll need to select the slide itself and then over here you can see that when the slide is entered in the actions tab, we execute an advanced action which is called slide two special. I'll just open that up using the browse window and here you can see what happens. It's very simple. First thing we do is we create a place to go back to. That's what this funny little line is. Don't need to worry too much about it. A variable is created here and then it's assigned to the first frame of this particular slide. And then we hide things. We're going to hide the uh, feedback that says no djembe, right? The incorrect answer. We're going to hide the feedback that says yes, that's the al oud. We're going to hide the animations for standing no and standing yes and the only animation we'll show is the idle animation okay so that's what happens when we first come into the slide we only show the idle animation and we hide the others and we get things set up so that we can start fresh look at the buttons now if we look at the buttons you can see when the djembe is chosen we do the same sort of thing there's an action it's an advanced action and you can already guess we're going to show no in the event that the djembe, the incorrect, is, is uh, chosen. Very simple actions here. We hide the idle, we hide the yes, and we hide the button for yes al oud. We say the no djembe, which means that we're going to reveal the button here, or the, the text box here that says no djembe, and we're going to show, of course, the standing no swift so that'll be the no swift that'll actually show and that's how he manages to shake his head no then we go back to the very beginning and for that we use this expression we say rd command go to frame and resume and then loop back start that's the the frame we set before 
plus one. So we're just gonna loop back to the beginning of the slide and play it again, only now we're gonna be showing the standing no. So that's how this works, it's a very simple. You can download this code uh, and take a look at it yourself or even use it in your own projects. And all you have to do then is assign the advanced action to the button and automatically hide or show the correct animation.